and Joni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, good morning. I was trying to think of a way to describe today's weather, and the best word I can think of so far is blah. I know that's not too exciting, but that's just kind of the day it's going to be. Nothing really extreme. A fair amount of cloud cover. In fact, that's what we're talking about this morning, seeing a lot of those clouds on our cameras and they'll be with us at times today. I think especially inland we get some breaks in the clouds here and there one o'clock in the afternoon. Notice a slight chance of some showers or even some drizzle along the south coast, even though most of the time it will not be raining as we work overnight through tomorrow morning. Chance of a little more drizzle. Notice the uh, low clouds working in. We'll start to pick up that cooler flow out of the northeast tomorrow and that will keep a cap on our temperatures with the potential of a few more showers. Initially I was thinking about maybe the possibility even here in Rhode Island, northwest of 295, maybe in places like Woonsocket, Cumberland of seeing a few wet snowflakes tomorrow, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Just not enough moisture. And in terms of temperatures, that'll actually try to warm just enough tomorrow to turn anything that really falls from the sky over to rain. Now, as we go into Tuesday, some clouds stick around, still the chance of a few showers lingering in the morning as well. But I do want to emphasize that the next several days, most of the time, it's not raining and we don't have any washouts in the forecast, at least in the short term. All right, I am showing you overnight low temperatures because 21 is our record. Notice, though, 26. That's as low as we've gotten so far, and right now we're sitting at 27. And one of the reasons would be that cloud cover. Clouds basically act like a blanket overnight and actually help keep temperatures up a little bit. And that has what has happened over the past couple hours. Five miles an hour for a wind speed in Smithfield. So at least it's not all that breezy. You get the cold temperatures, but you don't have those really nasty wind gusts coming in from the north and northwest like we've had the past couple days. Our wind chills, though, still down into the teens in some places. 18 for you in Smithfield, 22 in Taunton, and 24 in Westerly. So the jacket or parka is still probably a good idea if you're heading out early this morning. Maybe you're heading out in Newport. At least it looks nice despite the cold weather. Notice some beautiful clouds here overhead with a temperature of 23 from our weather station coming in in Smithfield. Notice we're not even registering wind gusts right now in Smithfield, so it is very, very calm for at least our inland spots right now. Some snow showing up here in upstate New York. Again, a slight chance of that in northern New England over the next couple days. No big storms, though. In fact, this uh, system here, it almost looks like a big storm is on the way, but it's not really going to happen. We'll see a few ripples of energy here in the atmosphere, one this afternoon and another one tomorrow, which will form some of those showers just offshore and occasionally clip the coast at times with some of those showers. This afternoon, temperatures in the mid-40s, 44 in Charlestown, 44 Hope Valley, and 44 in Narragansett. Northern Rhode Island temperatures also in the low to mid-40s. So we get slightly milder temperatures than yesterday, but we don't get quite as much sunshine. 44 in Seekonk, 43 Fall River and 42 in Taunton. And in terms of getting to those high temperatures in the 40s, it takes a while for that to happen. Notice 34 at 9 o'clock in the morning by noontime in the 30s, so we don't really get to the 40s until likely after lunchtime. Seven day future cast shows I put a big old cloud for tomorrow, no showers on the map because I don't want to sell tomorrow as a rainy day because it will not be. But remember, a few showers are possible with that cooler, moist northeast breeze. And then we do get to some 50s with a chance of some showers towards the end of the week. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at 